guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Iris L. If you're new to my channel, I really appreciate the subscription. I will see you again. And if you're not new here, well, thank you for returning. Thank you for giving my nails. Thank you for giving the fact that I can pronounce words somewhat okay. Let's get into it. I'm someone who likes to create self-development videos based off of basically me developing myself. Fantastic, right? Great. So with that said, today I'm just going to try out Cardi B's hair mask. With as much of the ingredients that I have, I have everything but what she suggests of honey and I think that might be it. I think there's one more thing, but I can't remember what it is right now off my memory. But let's get to making it quick. My hair needs it. So you know what? Let's go. Here I am. I put the first ingredient in. It is avocado. That has literally... Well, it gets kind of partly done. So let's try to blend this up as much as I can. I'm going to be a little innovative. By innovative, what I mean is since it's completely like, like it's not completely ripe, sorry. I'm going to put like a little bit of milk in it to kind of like try to mush it together. But that's also because milk has calcium in it and your hair does need calcium for growing. This is not anything close to what she does in her mask. But I'm just going to put like the tiniest bit. Like it's not even going to be that big of a deal. Like it's going to be so tiny. It's just so I can help mix it because it's not ripe. There you go. Just like I'm telling you like a little tiny bit or something like that. Like a little, little tiny bit. Hi guys. So I want to just get my ring light because honestly it's a lot easier to film that way. I mean it's not rocket science. So I just should have done it from the beginning. But honestly, I was downstairs living my best life, starting to make my mask and thought to myself, that's quite a bit of time, honestly. It was probably 20 minutes ago. I, I mean, it doesn't take 20 minutes to set up my uh, ring light. But it did take me a couple of times to go upstairs and remember that I needed a little piece to hold the phone into the ring light. So, you know, a lot of time just trying to figure out nothing. Because it was exactly where my ring light stuff was. I just kept forgetting to get the part where the phone plugs in to my ring light. I've spent 44 seconds telling you guys about how my memory sucks. So we're going to go right back into... Speaking of a bad memory. We're going to go back into building our avocado mask. Hair mask. Yeah. Now I didn't realize till after that I really just wanted this ring light set up. Because the next step would be to mix it. And obviously I can't mix it holding this and still be able to actually hold the camera at the same time. Now, one thing that I think is really cool, I'm not sure if I'm a little crazy about this, I'm not sure how long it takes for avocado to, uh, 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 sorry, oxidize. I don't know how long it takes for avocado to oxidize, but I just know that if it's similar to like apples, when you take a bite and then it starts browning, that's what oxidizing is, mixing with oxygen. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's the that's the best description I'm gonna give you guys right now. I'm I'm not a chemistry teacher. Chemistry teacher. I just remembered and actually surprisingly retain retained this from when I was in my chemistry classes in high school and the few chemistry classes I had in college. But I know that what causes browning on fruits and vegetables is oxidization, and I feel like you know when you bite an apple, it's normally brown really quickly, but I feel like the milk. That I put in here is kind of helping it not oxidize really quickly because I had actually like I said walked away from here for about 20 minutes to even set up the ring light and it didn't even like there's not even a little bit of brown like not even a little bit of oxygen works fast guys like it okay anyways Right now I'm just um pushing it down. I'm not even using it as a mixer. I'm using it like a potato masher. Sure. You know what? It's serving its purpose. Its purpose is being served. It is mixing. There we go. I wonder if I can... Ah! Guys, you're not going to come here and find one of those like cutesy little YouTube pages where everything's perfect and people do normal things and normal things happen like you're not gonna find that here if you're looking for a page with normal things and normal people and normal worlds you're gonna have to just be disappointed and not enjoy my content 
Because if the camera wasn't rolling, this is what I'd be doing anyways. I'm just sitting here wondering why I'm not holding the container somehow or propping it on something to keep it firm and then I'm just gonna keep going. Because guess what? It's mixing it. It's mixing it. It's mixing it. Great. You don't find normal things here at Iris L. Iris L doesn't even represent normal. It represents enlightenment. Like, I am going to choose to enlighten myself and choose the best, best path for myself. Like, I even thought about the L too. The L actually has a meaning as well, which I will not be telling anyone anytime soon until I've reached a confident platform at which I feel like I would consider myself a little famous. That's it. I feel like that would be like at least like somewhere in the thousands. Like I need to have like at least like 10,000, 15,000 subscribers. Probably not honestly. I feel like I need to be have a little more than that. Like let's just say let's just say the L part means something. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like so far. I think I'm doing pretty well. Let's go to step step two. Welcome back guys. So yeah, um, I actually had to go to the gym. Totally forgot I had to do that. And I wasn't gonna have like avocado and eggs hanging in my ear, sweating through my eyes, you know? I was just like, I think it's really smart for me to continue this after I go to the gym, come back, but then obviously change of clothes. So yeah, well, I thought I could finesse y'all, but hold on, I'm back. So let's get back to my avocado uh, hair mask, which I actually ended up adding a little bit more water in it. So you know what, let's put in the rest of the ingredients, right? I thought we'd start with mixing in the avocado first with the milk that I had in the container. Do you guys remember what I said in the beginning of the uh, video? Uh, you don't come here for normal people content. Yeah, I'm just gonna. into the avocado. Try to make it as, as smooth as I can. So I added my three hair products. I accidentally like cut my finger in the middle of it because one of the products, specifically the Argan oil, I actually have another bottle over there and it just had so much still left in it, if you guys know those ones, and I tried to cut off the top. And I actually told myself that I could prevent this cut by just doing it safer. So remember my page is about self-development? Follow your intuition. Anyways, yeah, okay, so we have Argan oil, which is actually one of her ingredients. Castor oil, which is also one of her ingredients. And then this one, which is actually the white one. That's actually shea butter. So as you can see, the clear stuff that's oozing around, that is the castor oil underneath. Then there's the white, which is the shea butter. And the yellow is the argan. I'm just gonna cover this up. <laughs> All right, let's get to schmixing. I'm actually gonna switch hands because I heard it. I wanna keep my finger as straight as possible because it's actually a really deep cut. So it's not bleeding as long as I keep my finger as straight. Maybe because the white blood cells are clotting together and stopping it and the blood's already starting to harden if I just kind of not put it in a band-aid and let it breathe. Like literally, it's, it's actually not bleeding right now, but I'm telling you this, it's a really big cut. Not even taking the risk, just wrapping it up. 
keeping my finger as straight as I can. I don't know. So I don't know because, and you know what I like the, you know what I like about my vlogs most, even though I'm now going into another uh, complete story. I feel free enough to do that though. It's like I can tell my story of how I, I just feel more myself sometimes. Like I go on tangents a lot. But yeah, my only side about the whole finger thing is because I don't have any signs to uh, back up what, what made me want to keep my finger straight or have this much confidence in it healing so far, but it's doing much better than it was before I turned on the camera. Y'all, I wish I had the honey like she did. I actually don't have that because I don't really use honey. Imagine just giving like a mixer and you just use it like it's a stirring spoon or something. My hair mask is coming along. There's only one more thing I know I have to add. And that's mayonnaise. Let's go. Okay y'all, there we go. Mayonnaise has been added. This is about to become the mask of a lifetime. Cause sis about to make sure her hair is guaranteed growing. This is getting thicker, y'all. But it's technically done. Believe it or not, that felt really soft when I was applying it. There was a point at which I was applying it with my own hands, you know, probably way better coverage <laughs> anyways. And yeah, it just felt so soft, can't even lie. But I mean, I think we've, um, if anyone's tried to look into taking care of your hair properly, I mean, definitely come across avocado and particularly mayonnaise and eggs as being great things for hair. Definitely wish I had the honey. Would have loved to have put that in there. It was definitely one of the ingredients on her list. However, um, I had most of her ingredients. Oh, I also forgot. I'm looking up to where the olive oil is. I actually forgot to put olive oil in it as well. But you know what? It's okay. It's not like this is going to be the last time I do this mask anyways. So, thanks for joining. We'll see how it rinses out tomorrow because I can't lie. I'm proud to wrap something around here at the edges so that this thing doesn't slide and wear it for the night. I think I'm supposed to wear it for the night. I might have to Google this and come back to y'all. <laughs> My hair feels nice, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't expect to gaslight my own self the moment the camera turned on. I was just like, girl, you just like fixing your hair, like whatever, just show them something. As soon as the camera starts looking, I'm like, uh. Oh. Cause like, yo. Number one, my hair actually does feel softer. I'm not even gonna front. It did feel softer. I only put it in my hair because my hair had just recently been relaxed about six or seven or eight months ago. Sometime at the beginning of the year, it was like March or April. I lie, it was sooner than that. It was like summer actually. It's basically like nearing the end of summer. And I did a relaxer and my hair was good in the beginning. Like it felt nice. I was combing it fine. But like, I guess over time, some of the break is just starting to take a toll. 
I don't know if because like I'm doing the same th things. I'm so sorry for my hiccups, guys. I'm doing the same things. <laughs> I'm doing the same things as I was doing before. I mean, minus the fact that I have to replace a leave-in yogurt conditioner that I got a long time ago, which I really should film my Amazon video I wanted to do for so long. So, you know, thank you for vibing with me. This is it. My hair is soft. When I took it out, it was nice and soft itself. Like it actually feels very soft, which means it's obviously doing things. It feels a little oily, which I remember reading online. It says something about hair being oily, which is what I kind of wanted. I wanted some moisture and oil back up into my, my strands. And yeah, you know what? I'm actually in a rush to get to the gym because I totally forgot that I had to do that this morning. And then I go and I get ready to... Where's my vlog? Oh, there it is. I, where's my vlog? Where's my elastic? But I get ready this morning to film this vlog and tell me how I'm like oh shoot I have to get to the gym in like 40 minutes well it was an hour at the time but like for some reason I was just so tired <laughs> I zoned out forgot about the gym that I knew I needed to do so I was actually not going to do my makeup this morning I was just going to film after the gym do that even look nice does it even matter does it even matter does it even matter because yes sis even when her baby hair is going on today like she really did it she really did it she was trying to look <clears throat> for you guys so like subscribe share a couple of videos coming up soon update to fenty skin and how it's been treating my skin is coming i'm going to have maybe some looks from the spongiology that i've done this is one of them i've been using the spongiology for a lot of my videos so if you've been seeing those videos recently this is what it is thank you guys again for being part of my channel like subscribe really appreciate all those who are sharing like <laughs> really helps the algorithm and i really appreciate everyone i'm hoping to see you guys again soon bye oh, bitch needs to make her breakfast still she's gonna go to the gym in probably less than 15 minutes hungry i do every time i go there hungry every single time yeah Hey guys, guys, I'm really not liking the whole it's me, it's Iris, and it's been almost two years that I've been doing these vlogs now, and I'm still not feeling the whole, oh, hey guys, it's me, Iris. Welcome back to, no, but like, I mean, I gotta do it, so welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? It's been a while. Well, not the welcome back part, that's what I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna delete this whole son of a bitch. <laughs>